You know that the Federal Reserve is a private bank and not a government agency? No, I wasn't aware of that. It's a, it's a private bank? That would scare me quite a bit. What if you learn that the Federal Reserve makes money off the taxes you pay? How would you feel about that? Angry. <laughs> like I'm feeling right now. I would feel cheated by my government. I'd be angry. Kind of sucks. They're pretty much in control of everything. I decided to drive back to Washington to see Dr. Ron Paul. He had been a congressman for over 20 years. I had met him previously in 1998 when I was running for governor of Nevada, and I knew him to be an honest and sincere man, and I thought he'd be very helpful in letting me know what the future holds for the American people. Who owns the Federal Reserve? It's secret, and we can't find out what's happening, So, but the Congress created it, and it's not authorized in the Constitution. The government borrows money from a private corporation using the name federal that prints United States on it, and then it pays back to the Fed, which is owned by private banks. We don't know who all those private banks are. The money that the government is paying back to the private bankers is the money that comes from you and me. Why in the world would the American government borrow money and pay fees on it when it has the authority to make the money itself interest-free? The Federal Reserve is no more federal than Federal Express. I've never seen a full list of ownership for the Fed. I don't think anybody has. The government works for a private bank, and the private bank works for its owners. The true masters. Once the banks get into the picture, and they form a partnership with the government, the government gives them the legal power now to create bank-issued money, backed by the coercive power of government to require everybody to accept that uh, bank money. In the course of the last century, they have converted this nation from a nation of independent freeholders to a nation of employees. And they're just one step away from being serfs. Most people spend the great bulk of their money for taxes, interest, and inflation. And all of that money goes to these two groups that comprise the cartel and their partner, the federal government. It's not a coincidence. So if Congress used its legal authority to shut down the Federal Reserve System, the American people would be much better off. Government should create, issue, and circulate all the currency. Creating and issuing money is the supreme prerogative of government and its greatest creative opportunity. Adopting these principles will save the taxpayers immense sums of interest and money will cease to be the master and become the servant of humanity. Abraham Lincoln. Our young people today are conditioned from the, practically from the cradle on up to think that credit is a wonderful thing. You don't want to damage your credit. You want to do what you can so that you can go to the bank and get a good loan. There are no, no people who own their own property, who own their own houses, who own their own business, who finance their own business. They're only debtors. The average young person today has no concept that he's being drawn into a web, a trap. <coughs> like he's in the feudalist system, only he's going to like it. He's going to think, this is wonderful. I got my new red Corvette and I'm in debt for the rest of my life, but I'm looking good. A decision was made. You know, let's get all the debt up, let's move the jobs abroad, and instead of re-engineering your skills, we're going to dumb down America, and so the middle class will disappear. When a person borrows money, it puts a noose around their neck and makes them servant to the lender, which is exactly what the Federal Reserve System is designed to do. And now our Congress, so dominated by the banks, is helping them to entrap people even further by passing new bankruptcy laws, making it more difficult for the people to declare bankruptcy and get a fresh start while at the same time allowing the banks to charge very high rates of interest. This is the way the Democrats and Republicans, working with the banks, legally enslave the nation. The board of directors of the Federal Reserve System is chosen by the president from a list prepared by the bankers themselves. The process of finding a Greenspan replacement is ongoing and is being managed by a small group of people responsible for coming up with a list of nominees. It's important that whomever I pick uh, is viewed as an independent person from politics. If the American people 
ever allow the banks to control the issuance of their currency. The banks and corporations that will grow up around them will deprive the people of all property until their children wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. Thomas Jefferson. Thank <laughs> you.